Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm going to share with you guys on how to create this bracelet. This bracelet is called the Sparrow Bracelet and this bracelet was named by Crazy Looms. She had a YouTube channel on looming but I guess she is inactive now. So anyways, this is what it's called, the Sparrow Bracelet. And if you make this bracelet, go ahead and post it on Instagram of your own design rendition of the bracelet. And use these hashtags, so hashtag Minion Loomer, hashtag Sparrow Bracelet. And go ahead if you want, go ahead and hashtag Crazy Looms. And yeah. So if, okay, never mind. So this bracelet is a variation, well no, I keep making that same mistake. So this bracelet is um ori an original design by me and there is a variation with this design so it's called the um mary stella bracelet and this bracelet was named by um mdo family so she has a tutorial on her channel of the variation for this bracelet so she simply added a single chain to this design which looks pretty nice and i like how it turned out so go ahead and go subscribe to her channel and I will have all her links in the description box down below. And so this is a variation, well her bracelet is a variation to the Sparrow bracelet here. So I will have everything in the link in the description box down below. And by the way, if you guys haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already. Give this big, give this video a big thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel to become part of the Minion Loom Squad if you guys haven't already. And I do have a channel trailer, so if you guys haven't already, go check that video out. Anyways, without further ado, I'm just going to get started with this tutorial. And this is this video is a remake for the other tutorial that I did because there was just too much noise and yeah, it was complicated. So anyways, without further ado, let's explain the materials. So the materials you will be needing for this design is a metal tip crochet hook or a plastic crochet hook, any crochet hook you would like. So you can use the rainbow loom metal tip crochet hook or the plastic crochet hook. Today I am using the loomy loom hook, so it's a doubled ended crochet hook for this design. And it's up to you, you can use any hook you want. And today I will be using some purple lily bands and some opaque white bands. So I will be using purple lily bands for the border color and white bands for the center color. You will also be needing three C-clips or you can use one. It's just either way when you start closing your bracelet off, you'll simply need one little C-clip and so two more for the outside. But anyways, without further ado, let's get started with this design. So the first step, Simply what you need to do is make a single chain and if you do not know how to make a single chain do not worry I will show you guys how to make a single chain. So simply you'll just need your hook and your band. So you're going to take a white band or any color you're using for the center and you're just simply making a capping band where it looks like an 8. Then you're going to take a single white band and just slide it through these two loops and simply reclaim. So it looks like this. And you're going to take another white band and you're just going to slide it through that, those two loops, and reclaim. Then you're going to take another white band, slide it through the two loops, and simply reclaim. So you're going to go ahead and repeat that same step over and over again until your bracelet design is full to your wrist. And I will share with you guys what to do next. Once you are done making your chain and it should look like this, then you're simply just going to clip it and then remove it off your hook. So now it looks like this. So now we're going to use our purple lily bands to start the normal process for the sparrow bracelet. So we're inserting our hook into the chain here. So it's the little bottom part of the chain. So we're simply now going to take a single white, I mean a uh, purple lily band and we're just going to slide it through the capping band and simply reclaim so it looks like this and now what we're going to do is insert our hook into the back part of the chain here 
So insert your hook into the back part of the single chain. So it's so when you're doing the process, your hook should look like this. Or at the top part, it looks like this, and your C-clip is in this direction. So then you want to insert your hook into the back part, basically. So once you've inserted your hook into the back part of this design, you're going to take a purple lily band and slide it through the two loops of that chain, and you're simply reclaiming. And then you're going to take a white, I mean a purple lily band and slide it through the first four loops and simply reclaim. Then you're going to insert your hook into the back part of the chain once again. Take a purple lily band, slide it through the first two loops and reclaim. Then you're going to take a white, I mean a purple lily band, sorry, and you're going to slide it through the first four loops and reclaim. You're going to repeat that same step by inserting your hook into the back part of the chain. Take a single purple band and slide it through that chain and reclaim. And then you're taking a white, I mean a purple lily band and slide it through all the four loops on your hook and reclaim. Go ahead and repeat that same exact step by inserting your hook into that band of the chain and slide it through the first two loops and reclaim. Then you're simply taking a purple band, slide it through the four loops and simply reclaim that. Go ahead and repeat till you get to the top part of the C-clip and I will show you guys how to close your design off. So now once you reach the top and here we're at the last chain with the C-clip, you're gonna go ahead and insert into the back part of that chain with your C-clip connected to it. Then you're simply taking a purple lily band, slide it through that chain and reclaim. Then you're gonna take a single purple band, slide it through the first four loops and reclaim. Now this is what the second C-clip, well, for the first C-clip is what it's needed for. Actually the second C-clip what it's needed for. Then you're gonna go ahead and clip that on and simply remove so the band doesn't go everywhere. Now we're gonna go ahead and do that same step to the other side. So I'm gonna share with you how to do that. So you're going to want to flip your design. So this is the one side where we started working on our design. So now you're going to flip your design so it looks like this. So there are two different looks to the design. There are this side and then there's this side. You're going to want to work on this side. So now what you're going to do is take a look and insert your hook into this chain now of the capping band. And you're going to take a single purple lily band and just slide it through that chain and simply reclaim. Then you're now just going to insert into the front part of the chain and take a single band, slide it through the chain and simply reclaim. Then you're taking a white, I mean a purple lily band, slide it through the first four loops and reclaim. So it should start looking similar to this. Oh, I think I got it flip flopped. Yeah, I think I did. So I'm just gonna actually, okay. So it turns out you're gonna wanna insert your hook into the back part of the chain, sorry about that. And then you're reclaiming that so it should look like this. Insert into the back part of the chain like we've done before, sorry about that. Then you're gonna take a single band, slide it through that chain and reclaim. So you have bands like this. Then you're going to take a single purple band, slide it through the first four loops, and reclaim. So it's to start forming similar. So you're going to insert into the back part of the chain. Take a single purple band and slide it through that chain and reclaim. So you have four loops. Then take a purple band, slide it through those four loops, and reclaim. Okay, so it turned out I did have it right before. I'm so sorry. So insert your hook into this band, then you take a single band, slide it through that like normal, and then you work your way into the front loop of that chain, and then you reclaim, and then slide a single band through the first four. So sorry about that. Sorry for the big confusion. So then you insert your hook into the front of the chain now, and then you take a purple band, slide it through this chain, and reclaim. Then you take a purple band, slide it through the first four loops, and simply reclaim. Sorry for the big, huge mix-up. 
didn't mean for that to happen. So now you're just going to go ahead and simply repeat the same process of what we've been doing by taking a band, inserting into the front of the chain. I promise it's the front of the chain. Then you're taking a purple band, sliding it through that chain and reclaim. Then you're going to take another purple band, slide it through the first four loops and simply reclaim. So I promise it's the correct way. So now we're going to go ahead and repeat that same step till we get to the top of our bracelet and I will show you what to do next. So once we worked our way up to the chain to the last little chain here, we're inserting our hook into the front of the chain, the front, and we're taking a single purple band and just slide it through that chain simply and reclaim to that loop. And then you're taking another purple band, just simply slide it through like we've done our steps before. And then you're going to, instead of clipping a C-clip on, I think you actually needed two C-clips, but that was it. Now what you're going to do is simply remove this C-clip into the center here and just go ahead and pop that to the side. And now what we're going to do is simply insert our hook sideways to the chain. So you take a look, this is how it looks like. So what we simply did was insert our hook sideways into this chain. And now what you're gonna do is pop off this C-clip for now. And go ahead and set that to the side. You will be needing it later. And now you're gonna take a white band, the color of the center chain, and just simply slide it through these first four loops. So two, three, four. And just go ahead and simply reclaim so it looks like this then now you're going to need your c-clip and just slide it through that chain so attach these bands onto the chain then go ahead and set your hook to the side and this is how your design should look like it's such a pretty design and i just love this sparrow bracelet so much and if you make this bracelet use the hashtag before as i said in the beginning of the video Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video on how to make it. And by the way, when you're going to close your design off, go ahead and set your hook C-clip to the side. And then just simply clip it on. And it should look like this. So that's how you make the bracelet, the sparrow bracelet. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you haven't already, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And... I will be starting to do subscriber of the week in my channel. So yeah. So the subscriber of the week will be put right here at the end of my video. They'll be having their channel right here featured in my tutorial. So anyways, if you want to be featured in my channel, comment down below if you're subscribed to my channel. And I will feature your channel right here on my channel. So if you haven't already, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you want to be featured right here. And I will see you in my next tutorial. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and see you in my next video. Bye!